The veteran kicker, Greg Joseph, will get us started here. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. From the six, here comes a return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Eagles led out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him, can make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch, and now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league, and if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. We'll check the reaction for the former Giant Perry Saquon Barkley. Not much. Second and long coming up. to about the 34-yard line. Tyler Newbin is there for the stop. Third and six. Hurts working in the pistol. first down a shotgun snap now to Hurts and that's complete to A.J. Brown it'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three They face second down and seven. Hurts. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Hurts now on third and two. Open man, right side. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. You can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. second and long. Right out of the gun, they give it to Barkley. And that'll go for a gain of about four. That's Bobby Okereke there for the stop. Play eight of the opening drive coming up. And now they face third down. Here's Perks. This one is caught by Dotson. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott now to try the field goal. 
This a 57-yard attempt. And that is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. And this is tough here on the opening drive because sometimes when you miss one early, we've seen head coaches change how they approach fourth down situations. Is he going to get as many chances here? We're going to find out throughout the rest of the game. They'll come up here first and ten. Now the former Bill and Texan Devin Singletary. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. Jordan Davis, the man in the middle, brings it to an end. Second and seven. Working from the gun, it's Jones. He's got his man, one Bill Robinson. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Now Jones on the bootleg. That'll be caught by the running back Singletary. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. On second down, it's Singleton. He's down inside the 10, a gain of four. Third down, three to go. From the gun, it's Jones. That is Here's Greg Joseph for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Giants will take a 7-0 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This is fielded inside the five. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. The Eagles offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll do so with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Open man is the tight end, Stoll. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. 
Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. A first down throw for Hurts. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up second down. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Open receiver is Dotson. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. down he's out of bounds after a gain of five you can see the eyes of the quarterback he's trying to push this ball initially downfield but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route but this is something that they know in the future if i need a couple yards they can come back to this play he's got the 2021 20, Heisman work that's Devonte smith this is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? They'll work now on second and four. That in motion is Brown. To the air again. Hurts. He's going to air this one out looking for Dotson. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Here comes the Eagles punt team. And this is going to work out for them. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Giants offense ready to take over for their second possession. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and 10. give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And a good run there. And get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Shotgun now for Jones. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Back into the hands of his receiver. 
receiver Hyatt. Give him 14 on that one. That's good for a giant first down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hands, and results in a completion. I'll give to Singletary on the zone read. He'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. Jordan Davis, the man in the middle, brings it to an end. Throwing now is Jones. Open man is Robinson. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. And a yard. Motion man is high. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. Seven nothing is our score. We're back to upstate New York in just a moment. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Singletary. And he will have a Giants first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did pick up the first down Jones keeping this one not a whole lot happening there just a short pickup they went to the design quarterback run and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate you can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop never transpired didn't get a whole lot going short game Jones he has Hyatt complete. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Jones. Going to hang on to it here. Pick up a 14 on that one. First down, Giants. This is an area of Daniel Jones' game, Mike, that I think people often overlook. He is sneaky fast, and when he gets out into open space, very rarely can anybody catch him. First and 10 now from the 36. On the give. It's Singletary. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Here's second and six. Now, Jones. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Throwing is Jones on third down. And that one just kept getting worse and worse until finally they bring him down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive.
On fourth down, it's hammer time. The Scottish hammer. Jamie Gillen on to kick. Back deep for Philly. It's Cooper to Gene. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They'll start out first down and 10. Completion will get a stoppage here for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. So they come to the line for first down and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. To the outside. Catch made by Brown. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. That'll be a gain of 20, much of it coming after the catch as they pick up the first down. Nice pick up here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Look at the big guy rumble. He is in. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike. And he's able to connect here for a big touchdown. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles will level things out at seven apiece. deadlock we are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten the drive starts with a carry by Singletary he is met and dropped good defense Loss of a couple on that play. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. 
to throw is Jones. Throwing left side there, but it is incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. From the gun on third down, Jones. This is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. On first and 10, here's Joe. responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback and I think this is a great example here two guys clearly on the same page quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time he's there balls delivered accurately he's able to pick up the rest with his legs and that's a big time connection for the touchdown here's Joseph now for the extra point The kick is good. And the Giants will move out to a 14-7 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here comes a return from the five and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more they trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 And the man in motion. On first down, it's Hurts. And they get to him and finally bring him down. And it will go down as a set. It's just so hard to get anything going when you're just not confident running your own system and all these early sacks. Yes, they kill drives, but think what it does to the quarterback. The quarterback just can't be confident operating out of the pocket. There's no rhythm, there's no timing, and everything you planned on doing today coming in is out the window. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Running from the pistol with Barkley. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Back to the drawing board for this run game, Mike. The offensive coordinator and his staff, they have to do a better job giving plays, giving opportunities to their offense to find success on the ground. Because right now, they have no answers for this defense. On third down, it's Hurts. Happy throws Wright's 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start.
So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He'll run again. Ooh. You can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. Mike, the defensive line rush plan is critical when you're playing quarterbacks like this. You have to keep him contained in the pocket. Because the second he gets out of the pocket, we can see what happens. Set to go now on first and ten. To throw, Hurts. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. is Brown. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Perks. Over the middle to his tight end Goddard. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. And we'll go right back to Goddard. He's got it again. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because the quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And he's able to secure a really nice catch. So now, from half the distance closer, here's first and goal. Hurts now. To the goal line and in. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy.
Here's Elliott for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles will tie things up. We are all even at 14. They'll start this drive with first down. Throwing Jones. It's made right side. It's Johnson. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. Clock will stop with 34 seconds to go until the break. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. From the gun, it's Joe. who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Here's first and ten. They do try to run it out as they start on the ground. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. So we have reached halftime here in this one. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Both teams look good on the offensive side of the first half. Will it carry over? We're about to find out. Second half is underway. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first 
in this third quarter. They'll begin with first and ten. Here's a zone read to start the drive. And he works his way past the 25 to the 27-yard line. You know, Mike, early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal, when you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. They'll run. It's Singletary. And he'll get about five past the 30-yard line. Now a third and two. On third down, here's Singletary. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. And it sets up fourth down. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss. And it brings up fourth down. And now here comes the punt team. Here comes a return. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitors offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and will try to sustain it here down the stretch. First and ten. Scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. To throw is Hurts. former Panther in there for the sack. Brian Burns with the sack, and that's exactly the type of play the Giants envisioned when they traded for him from Carolina back in March. Only eight sacks a season ago, and the question was, was that production indicative of him as a player or more of his surroundings? But either way, he's picked up right where he left off, and he's one of the best pass rushers in the entire league. On third down, here's Hurts. After that play, it stopped an injured Giant on the field. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch.
Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. The throw is Hurts. He runs with it. What a run. He brings it to the red zone. Taken down inside the 20-yard line. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have a clock in their head. They understand exactly how much time they have before they start stressing the protection. He realized pretty quickly here it was time to go, tuck the ball, become a runner, and he's able to pick up a big game. To the outside, he's got Smith. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. He'll come up now for second down and four. A run up the middle with Barkley. And he'll be near the first down marker. It's called a gain of three. But a short yardage situation coming up on third down. And they'll throw here with Hurts. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Oh, good blocking, and he... That just feels like a big drive, doesn't it, Mike? Here in the second half, you got a tie ball game. Now you're able to get out in front. Let's see how this other team responds, having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it, and the Eagles have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21-14 to 14 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Tracy now to return it. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. They're searching here for the tying score. Down 21-14. And they'll begin first and ten. to run with Singletary. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. And he'll work forward for a yard, but that's all he needed. This is going to be a first down. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. Shotgun now for Jones. And his pop, it's Robinson. And they'll have it. Across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. 
These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Now, Jones. To the outside, complete to Johnson. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. A good spot here, second and a yard. They run here with Singletary. And he will have the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. From the 35, it's first and 10. They'll go back to Singletary on first down. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Throwing now is Jones. That's caught over the middle by Johnson. now it's Jones that is pulled in at the foul and he's going to be brought down well it goes without saying you want to play wide receiver in the NFL Mike how well can you change directions how fast can you get your body from one direction to another and when you can cut like this guy I'm not sure how you guard him this drive has been methodical but will they turn it into six points it is first and goal. They'll run here with Singletary. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Now, Joe. Touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. The tight end using the middle of the field. I got a tight end next to me who's caught 60 NFL touchdowns. Knows how to operate down in those spaces. And that was my favorite place to operate, Mike. I always had this rule. The closer you got to the middle of the field, the worse they got at defending the pass. So that's where I wanted to work. And that's where this guy was working and leads himself to a touchdown. On is Joseph for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Giants will even the score. It's now 21 on. to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. 
Now return coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. He'll start on the ground with Barkley. And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. Kayvon Thibodeau with the stop. Here's a second and six. Hurts going to fire this one out to Smith. He's going to be out of bounds, but he's got the first down. A pickup of eight. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The linemen cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. They'll work now on second and four. Bad in motion is Brown. To throw on second down is Hurts. That's taken in right side by Goddard. And they'll take this down inside the 35. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it tie ball game fourth quarter the game is on the line everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going and i can't blame them they'll keep it on the ground trying to find some place to go but nothing developing tackled behind the line it's a loss of one the speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle might I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. The second down throw is incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. The crowd making their presence felt. This is third down. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Got a man. It's complete to A.J. Brown. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. You get in these situations, third down, tie game, fourth quarter. I mean, this is really where your quarterback makes his money. You are going to put your faith and say, all right, what is the best play for this offense to execute? And the game really rests in the hands of your quarterback. And he continues to come up with these third down pickups. He continues to extend this drive. He's got a shot to come away the hero and win this game here late. On first down, it's Hurts. These plays just kill you on defense. The pressure is good, but you have to contain them. Quarterback does a nice job of escaping the pocket, turns into a runner, scrambles for positive yardage. Matt Jalen Hurts on second down. He will take this one across into the end zone. 
Jalen Hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now that pressure shifts to your defense, your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? Elliott on now for the PAT. His kick is good. And the Eagles go up by seven. 28 to 21. So the lead is seven now here in this fourth quarter. The tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The home team's offense and Daniel Jones ready to get going once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly making the right read seemingly every time. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They'll run. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Jones to throw on second down. Open man is Robinson. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, this is something we don't see every day, Mike. A team playing with a traditional I formation fullback. It's kind of a lost art in today's modern game, but in this case, highly effective. Great job by the fullback clearing out the path for his running back, and they're able to pick up the first down. Well, the pressure was on there, and they do get him for the sack. Almost got a turnover out of it as well, Greg. Fortunate to keep possession. Really fortunate, Mike. That ball ended up kind of bouncing back into a spot where the quarterback was able to fall on it. But you mentioned it. That play was very close to being a complete disaster for the offense. Well, we sit up here all the time and we try to break down why certain plays work or don't work. Well, this one's not real tricky. I mean, he just simply needs to catch the ball. I mean, that close to the first down chain, if he just catches that ball and turns up field, they extend this drive. He's got to come over to the sideline, take a deep breath, tell his guys, hey, man, that's on me. And he's got to go out and make that next play because his team's going to need him to play better as the rest of this game continues. The Eagles offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Hurts now. Short throw taken in by Goddard. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Yeah. 
second down and eight. Hurts will work here from the pistol. And he will slide to a halt, but he does have the first down. 12 yards there and a first down. And this has been a familiar sight all day today for this defense. They have no answer for this quarterback as a runner. That last scramble puts him over 100 yards for the day. A first down throw for Hurts. That's over the middle and caught by Smith. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. On second down, Hurts. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Here's a handoff to Barkley. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. They'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, it sets up third down. for them to try to close this game out. The Giants offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense has got to be at its wit's end trying to come up with a way to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go. And he's turned a number of those into big plays. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll stick to the ground. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Second and 11. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. you got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. Connection. That's good for a Giants first down. Okay, so now you pick up that first down, Mike, but now there needs to be a sense of urgency. You know you need to score twice. So this one, ideally for the offense, results in a touchdown. But either way, this first score of the two needed needs to be fast because you need every possession you can here late in the fourth quarter. And 
and he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and 10. This one taken in by Hyatt. And they bring him down inside the 25 yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely gonna help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. They'll drop to throw. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. What will they do on this play? Third down, needing eight. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback needs to make his best play. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The extra point is good. A big one as we are tied late in this football game. We are in the final minute of what is now a tie game as we are set for the kickoff. This one taken at the seven. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. 
This has been a tremendous performance to this point. Here's first down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's caught left side by Goddard. He's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. Throwing is Hurts. Oh, he's got a man. His tight end, Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Final minute, still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and ten. Now, Barkley. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Now a timeout, Giants. That is their second. Clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here is second and seven. Here comes Barkley. Yeah. A good run there for a gain of six, but it's still going to be third and long. They send the tight end in motion. Barkley. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. They're able to convert, albeit not by much, but they get it on third and a yard. So now, Jake Elliott, an important kick coming up. This to win the game. This kick is good! And it's celebration time! A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So it's a win here for the visiting Eagles. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away with a three-point victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.